Pues nada, eh, estamos de vuelta chicos, bienvenidos al nuevo episodio de Metal Gear Rising Revengeance Después de habernos enfrentado a los memes de Monsoon y de que según él dice nos pasara uno a nosotros Eso no es una persona de verdad I'm sorry, sir. Our business hours for the day have ended. We are looking forward to your next visit. Me imagino que lo podré romper. Watch out. They keep on coming. Vale. La he liado, parda. Con las dos setas activo el modo destripador. Pero yo no quiero hacer eso, yo soy una buena persona. ¿Habéis visto? Les he estado haciendo todo eso mientras todavía me deslizaba. Venga, vamos a pasar a modo Reaper. A ver. Uh, mira, mientras estamos en modo Reaper, si seguimos ejecutando, no se nos va a acabar. Y si no, sigue hasta que acaba con todo nuestro... Con todo nuestro fantasma. Vamos a aislarlos un poco el uno del otro. Mierda. A ver si va a decir, me lo he lanzado para arriba y no le puedo cortar el cañón. Sí, sí que podría. Vale. El cañón parece que no puede evitarse, ¿vale? Que brilla en dorado el tío cuando lo va a hacer. Las dagas sí las podemos evitar, entonces siempre es mejor interrumpirle el cañón. Y con las dagas podemos lidiar. Pero con el cañón parece que no. Con el cañón se lo rompemos y ya nos cargamos al bici. Ahí va, la lié. Ahora sí. Venga, dámelo todo. Así que ahora que siempre que tengamos el indicador lleno podemos activar el modo Reaper, al parecer. Hay algo por aquí detrás. Vaya, vaya. Así que Sandowner nos ha contactado desde arriba. Hay una trope, chicos, que se llama generosidad sospechosa. Que es cuando un videojuego de pronto... Te da todas las armas que hay, te empieza a dar vida, te da puntos de guardar, toda esa clase de cosas que dices, hay un boss. Y me imagino que, a ver, venimos de un boss y si nos van a meter otro de inmediato... ¡Ah, no, pero espera! ¡Todo es bazooka! Vale, ya me acuerdo por qué es. Pero sí, aquí básicamente están queriendo asegurarse muy fuerte de que vayas a tener bazooka. De hecho, no todo es bazooka. Hay misil, misil buscador. Pues nada, chicos. Voy a hacer una cosa muy sencilla. Voy a quitarme la granada. Voy a ponerme los misiles buscadores. Si nos están dando, es por algo. 
The elevators appear to be disabled, which we should have expected, I suppose. I will access the control unit. Perhaps you can hack an elevator and make it operational. Ooh, splendid idea! By all means, yes! Hmm? It seems the guards are storming the building. Titan, get back to the entrance. Buy me some time to get this elevator operational. You can control that UGD as well, yes? Give them hell! In serio? Qué curioso. Sin embargo, el problema es que si me pongo a la torreta, me viene cabrón este. No. Mira que me para a darle con cuidado, pero claro, ha dado también en otra parte de la mano y lo ha roto. Estamos en la puta. Do not stray too far from the elevators, Raiden. Use the weapons around you to slow them down. Throw everything at them you can. Wunderbar! Try hack for the success. Force the elevator, Raiden. ¿Para qué voy a usar la torreta si es una puta mierda? For security purposes, the building is divided into upper and lower halves. The lower area consists of offices and meeting space for staff and visitors, while confidential military projects and technical research are restricted to the upper levels. So that's where the brains in the server room will be, up top. Indeed. But that elevator can only access the lower floors. You need to get to the 20th floor and pass the security gate there to reach the upper area. Let me guess. Time to find another left hand? Well, that is the problem. Security cyborgs would not have sufficient clearance. But managers and senior staff have already been evacuated, no doubt. So... The only option is to cut the power to the security gate, which will not be easy. It is powered by no less than three systems, including a backup power supply. You will need to destroy all of the electrical control panels to disable them. In any case, you should arrive at the 20th floor soon. Bueno, vamos a ver qué tienen que decir nuestros compañeros Happy al respecto Boris. de todo esto. They're all dead. No mercy. Just like you wanted. Raiden. So much for all that shit I said I believed in. I read that only one in 50 soldiers can kill with zero hesitation. Guess I'm a two percenter, huh? <laughs> I know what they went through, yeah. But I sure as hell didn't let it stop me. No. I guess not. Regular guys. They couldn't handle it. All the blood and body parts. The fear and dying eyes. Me, though. I like it. A lot. No hesitation. No regrets. Maybe it's in my blood. Maybe it's the Sears program. Probably both. The younger you learn a thing, the better you retain it, you know? I remember Liberia like it was yesterday. All the abuse. The threats at gunpoint. Next thing I know, I'm getting off on cutting guys to shreds. Raiden. But afterwards... Afterwards it was tough. Especially once I got to the U.S. I got counseling and education. But every time I talked with someone normal, I felt like all the killing I'd done was gonna crush me. And it didn't stop. Not in my dreams, anyway. I'd hear voices at night, calling out all my crimes. But I couldn't shut them out. The rest of my crew adapted to American life well enough. But I, I never could. Mm. And it returns only now. Raiden, I'm sorry about earlier. I was too hard on you. Nah, I'd be dead without you. I'd still be in Liberia, surrounded by crazy. I've always known you have a dark part in your mind. Perhaps I should not have hired you at all. Perhaps you should not be near Battlefield. 
The hell with that. If I hadn't signed up, I wouldn't be here to help put an end to this. I gotta do what I can to stop that VR training. I'm not the only one suffering. I need to do this for my old friends. The boys back in Liberia who didn't survive. I survived all the killing, thrived on it, but the experience destroyed them. Duh. Sorry. I better get moving. What do you think about what Monsoon said earlier about memes? You think we're all doomed to follow some coded-in routine? That there's no free will? Well, you're always gonna have restraints based on what culture you're born into. The concept of memes was first proposed by Richard Dawkins in a book called The Selfish Gene. Dawkins, a biologist, stated that even if the actions of a living thing appear to be altruistic, each of its genes is still engaging in selfish behavior, purely as a matter of survival. Yeah, I heard about that. He went on to define memes as a different kind of self-replicating unit. They're the genes of a culture, from fashion to chord progressions in music, even political expression. Well, and just, just like normal genes, they replicate. They grow, infecting more and more people. You buy a shirt you like and put it on. Other people see you wearing it, then buy it for themselves. Yeah, the genes of a culture makes it all sound pretty lofty. But the way Dawkins puts it, memes can also transmit worthless things, even the bad parts of a culture. Fashion's one thing, but value-related memes can put huge restraints on people's lives. For example, the idea that having lots of money is the ultimate goal, the thing we should all strive for. <laughs> like in the U.S. Any capitalist country, really. Mm -hmm. But anyway... You catch this money worship meme, then not only are you trying to get rich, you're also spreading that idea to other people. You have to. If that meme isn't the cultural norm, then what are you working for? So you start spreading the word about how important it is to succeed, earn status. Right. And the really contagious memes can be even worse. For example, revenge. A guy sees his countrymen killed by terrorism, so he becomes a terrorist and retaliates. It's an infinite loop. I think it's the same thing with child soldiers. Kids' parents are killed by other kids, so they join the war next and start killing other people's parents. There's gotta be a way to break the cycle, though. Dawkins wrote about that, too. How we can rebel against our genes and memes. Once you're aware of your own memes, you can train yourself to identify and replicate the good ones. And kill the bad ones. Right. Well, that starts with me stopping this VR shit. The Sears program's one hell of a bad meme machine. <laughs> Courtney. Uh, yeah? You caught all that. Guess I was Jack the Ripper all along. All that talk about justice. And here I am. Just another killer. Right in. Listen. I want you off this mission. You don't have to go through this. Kevar Doc can handle saving for me. Raiden, I, I don't want... No it's my responsibility to stop them progreso. before they make another Jack. It's my duty. No one else's. That's the way it is. Live by the battlefield, die by the battlefield. Raiden, listen. Courtney, this isn't the place for you. Keep working with me, and you're gonna wind up someplace dark. Uh, I, I'm fine with that. What? They... they're kidnapping kids. They're ripping their bodies, tearing up their souls to make soldiers. I feel like they have to pay for this. If I just quit here, how would I live with myself? Courtney. I mean, maybe I'd be happier going back to school, getting my MBA, making six figures. But now I know. I've seen the truth. And I can't just forget it. Maybe I can't do what you can, but come on. At least I can handle your data. I... So do you want to save or not? All right, we're set. You're sure about this? Positive. Look, you know you aren't Jack the Ripper. I... I mean, sure, you don't exactly hate every minute of your job out there, but... The Raiden I'm talking to right now, he's the same one I've always known. The one who'd put his life on the line to protect the innocent. Not just some maniac with a knife. <sighs> who knows? 
Maybe I'm just out for revenge against everyone who made me this way. It's more than that, Raiden. That much I know. In any case, I'm going to stop this VR training. All right. Good luck, Raiden. <laughs> Where are these electrical panels? I believe they are hidden in the walls. Use your enhanced AR to search for any unusual heat sources. Okay. Wolf, what's your position? My apologies. I appear to be lagging behind once again. It's fine. We couldn't have hacked that elevator without you. No, man, no, por your gratitude is appreciated. I am headed your way now. There is no need to wait for me. Continue with your mission. Got it. The electrical panels are most likely hidden in the walls. Use your enhanced AR to search for any unusual heat sources inside the walls there. Ah, the security gate. It is composed of steel alloy bonded by a high frequency electrical current. It should unlock once the power has been this cut. Is this is the de seguridad. This is the other side. Vale. Tendré que cortar estas puertas para pasar. Ah, mira, puedo ver el cableado. Que llevará a cada uno de los paneles, imagino. Esa patada es nueva. Debería estarme fijando en la ruta de los guardias. Uy. Casi no logro pasar. Van a venir. Justo han parado ahí. Si entro los reviento, pero el problema es que van a venir, van a venir refuerzos si lo hago. Cada uno vuelve a su sala. En esta sala hay dos. Allí hay otro. Ahí, ¿lo veis? Ya sabe, todos estos están en la misma sala. Este lo podría enganchar a la misma. There should be an electrical panel nearby. Use your enhanced AR to locate it. Shit! 
¡Mierda! Marla. No despliegan nuevos guardias, ¿no? There should be an electrical panel nearby. Use your enhanced AR to locate it. Excellent. Just one more. Sí, sí están despliegando. Keep on coming. Hombre, ah, vale, que no van a dejar de venir, ¿no? aviso ahí ni nada no. no no le he podido parar la puta es que no se afectan el uno al otro con el con el pm Suerte no me ha dado con eso, pero vale, pero una putada cuando el punto crítico está fuera de tu alcance. ¿Hay uno más? Bueno, sube con vida. Ah, que lo ha cogido el... Que todavía tiene el cacharrín. Todavía tiene al enanín de mano. Vaya hombre, justo cuando le iba. Eso es mala idea, eso ya, eso ya es mala idea. No me he en duda, ¿eh? que estoy voy a coger las demás cosas que haya por aquí no será el otro panel uh, otra 
Voy a ir al... a la salida ya antes de que vengan más refuerzos. Shall I activate your pain inhibitors now? No, keep them off. I need it this way. Ah, uh, well, as you wish. I must say, I have turned more than a few men into cyborgs. But you, well, your past is most, uh... What you getting at, Doc? Most of the time, you're working with first world ex-military. Grown men. Compared to the average third world child soldier, I can't really complain. Most of them. They're the sort of gorillas your typical patient gets paid to slaughter. Uh, perhaps, but, uh... This shouldn't be news to you, Doc. Uh, yes, yes, but, uh... Look, just help me take care of those brains after I bring them back. I do my business, you do yours. Uh, yes. No van a dejar de venir, creo, ahora. Uh, están dando todo, ¿eh? Ahora. Si dejo de moverme, los snipers me reventarán. Hostia, jefe. No pienso pararme a pelear con un jeco. La verdad es que no voy a pararme a pelear contra nada. Si puedo evitarlo. Me imagino que te dará muchos puntos hacerlo. Me tendría de puta madre para que estés tocando habilidades, mejorando el cuerpo y tal. Pero bueno, desde... ahí estáis aquí para ver la historia principalmente y las peleas contra los bosses que no dan mucho. Mierda, es que sí que se puede fácil que la última vez, ¿eh? No puedo decir que sea vuelto algo rutinario, pero... Mierda. Ya sé lo que vamos a hacer con ellos. Están puestos en escalerita. ¡Ja, ja! Como falle uno, daríamos. Uy, espérate. Hostias, hostias, hostias. Aquí un fallo y estoy muerto, ¿eh? ¡No! Pues no, no he visto dónde tenía opción de girar, la verdad. Es decir, he intentado girar, pero se gira muy, muy poquito. No tenía que haber ido para el otro lado. Sí, pero parece que está predeterminado donde van a golpear. Qué pena, era el último. 
ya lo tenía Esto es como la intro pero al revés En vez de bajar por el edificio que se está explotando Subimos por él You need only pass through that area to arrive at a freight elevator. I found a route to the elevator controls through the unit we hijacked downstairs. I have located the server room as well. You can reach it via the freight elevator. Great work, Doc. Elementary, my dear Raiden. Now, head for the garden. Debería que es por ahí, pero vamos a mirar antes si hay algo. No parece que haya nada. Pero bueno, ya sabéis que si hay una misión de VR no lo sabemos. Hostias. Esto, esto es para que juguemos al Tenchu aquí. Hay un sitio más bonito. Y lleno de enemigos. Ahí va. Vale, por un momento había pensado que era un tío con mazo, pero no es un tío con mazo. Que me den más miedo un martillo que un bazooka. Lo he sacado de la cabeza, de un trozo de la cabeza. ¡Hoy va! Falle. Eso es culpa mía, completamente. ¡Epa! Sacamos las dos. Quedaba uno por aquí, ¿no? Ahí está. Venga, tío. Cabrón. Venga. Uh, va a haber mucha gente por aquí. Me voy a conectar con el brazo. Esto es un tributo a Tenchu, tío. Voy 
subir a los tejados. A este ya no. Vale. Uh, hay cabrones de estos acorazados, gorilas de esos. Esos van a ser el principal motivo de preocupación. Parece que no mira detrás de sí, pero no me fío. Qué guay. Técnicamente nunca atravesé esta puerta. No creo que sea necesario para nada que coja todos los objetos. Especialmente porque no... La mayoría no son coleccionables, son simplemente consumibles, pero los cuales tengo todo. Porque los uso muy poco. Y los uso bastante bien, imagino. The main exit is sealed. I very much doubt you can get through there. The catwalk above you was connected to a corridor meant for transporting materials. You can take that to the elevator. la vuelta Bien. 
Esta es la cosa que está buscando aquí, de verdad. Vaya hombre, pues me ha dado uno de los chips. Esperaba alguna mejora permanente. Hay otra caja y es otra de las de Fandarche. Vale, almacenamiento de datos. Bueno, por lo menos un coleccionable de algún tipo. Bueno, lo del jardín interior y tal, bueno, una excusa cojonuda para decir, nos apetecía un huevo poder meter un sitio oriental ultra mega molón. Y un tributo a Tenchu. Ha estado genial. Sigamos adelante. Vamos a escuchar. O ya he escuchado la conversación. horrible. No un fan, Boris? Bueno, para cada uno, supongo. ¿Sabes? He visitado un jardín así una vez. Like en in Japón. En Kairakuen. En una ciudad llamada Mito. Really nice. Taxi ride there was murder, though. I figured the cabbie wouldn't be able to speak English, so I gave him a map. But he still got totally lost. I think he probably got confused because the map was in English. I didn't think that'd be a problem, since it's not like the place names are any different. But apparently, the guy couldn't even read the English alphabet. Oh, dear. <laughs> Say, please. Okay, save complete. If you ask me, no Japanese gardens complete without cherry blossoms. I hear a lot of towns in Japan are full of cherry blossoms in the springtime. They have picnics under them, drink sake and stuff. Sounds like a lot of fun, right? Food culture is about a lot more than just what you eat, you know. Hey, how about we all go to Japan for cherry blossom season? You know, once you're done there. Sounds good to me, once I'm done. How's it going with the brain unit, Doc? Any problems? Oh, they could not be better. They're being kept at exactly 36 degrees Celsius with a steady, uninterrupted supply of oxygen and glucose. Synchronizing them with our equipment posed some difficulty, but everything's perfectly stable now. That's good to hear. What kind of VR are they getting? I've prepared very comfortable rooms for each and every one. It's not quite Schloss Neuschwanstein, but each one enjoys the equivalent of a four-star hotel suite. Now it's Every room time. includes an attached pool and an extensive library of on-demand video programming. Hostia, Three meals ahí. are delivered daily, and while we're only able to do so much vis-a-vis -vis taste sensation, it should satisfy the psychological need for food, at least. Doesn't sound too bad. I wouldn't mind a little VR training like that for a change. <laughs> oh, be my guest. I'd like to experience it for myself, you know. But for now, it is available to cyborgs only. Exciting work is being done in the realm of invasive brain-machine interfaces. But there simply isn't much demand for it at the moment. I guess not too many folks are willing to stick electrodes in their brains just for a taste of VR. Uh, perhaps. But the sense of reality is considerably improved over nanomachine-based non-invasive methods. If prices were kept low enough, I imagine the video game industry at least would clamor for it. Who coded the virtual hotel? An assistant. He used to write VR programs for UGs, but now specializes in cyborg software. A bit of a niche right now, yes, but when brain-machine interfaces take off, it will be a big business. The children's accommodation is a reworked version of the original beta software he built. The room's 3D models are all made using free libraries. It couldn't have been easier. <laughs> I wish everyone loved their work as much as you do, Doc. <laughs> they don't go stir-crazy, though? Cooped up in their rooms? There's little I can do about that. Creating an open world would take orders of magnitude more resources. What about communication? Another weak spot, yes. The NPCs available to us are all for military training purposes. It will be some time until we see VR characters capable of convincingly human interaction. Sadly, we're also not yet able to connect multiple brains to a single VR space. My assistants are operating virtual agents to give them a bare minimum of mental care. But our team is limited in size. 
And none of us are medical professionals, you know. They can't stay in there forever. Raiden, I have reached the 20th floor. How should I proceed? I thought you specialized in scouting, Wolf. My apologies. I performed much better in the city. It's fine. Check in with Doc. I bet he can help you out. Y si no, atraviesa el jardín japonés y reúnete conmigo. My apologies, Raiden. I seem to have fallen behind. No worries. Actually, I should thank you. What are you talking about? If it wasn't for you, I wouldn't have gotten Jack back. Then, that is your true nature. More or less. Still interested? I find no reason to alter my objectives. From the moment we met, you have acted on emotional urges. You speak of protecting those weaker than you. Such people number in the billions. It is impossible. You cannot save every human being in the world. You cannot save every street child. After extended observation, I have come to a conclusion. Your actions are rooted in affinity for those from similar circumstances as yours. Huh. Guess so. Not much of a superhero after all, huh? However, your emotional status is understandable. Perhaps I share this same affinity. Well, if that's what you feel, then glad to have you along. Roger. You can reach the server room via the freight elevator just ahead. Bueno, eh, la verdad es que no llevo la cuenta del tiempo, ¿vale? Así que voy a hacer el corte aquí, que parece que hemos encontrado un momento de paz. Y aunque en este capítulo no han ocurrido tantas cosas, sí que hemos tenido algún entorno muy chulo, principalmente el del jardín. El jardín ha molado mucho. Ya hemos tenido las persecuciones, las explosiones del edificio y todo eso. Así que lo voy a ir dejando por aquí, chicos. Espero que lo estéis pasando bien. Lo que viene ahora va a ser bastante gordete. Eh, así que esperadlo en el próximo episodio de Metal Gear Rising Revengeance. Hasta entonces, amigos. Chao.